Hey YouTube, Mr. Dodo8449 here. Today we'll be working on the river scene. We're adding a lot more detail to the river bed. Um, I'm actually filming this after I've done all the work, so and so I'm not showing you anything at the moment. Um, but I'll start off with these are by far the most important tools to have when working on scenery, especially if you want it to be a lot more detailed. It's a pair of tweezers, and it's uh, that's actually a biro with the obviously the uh, end and the um, ink removed alternatively you can use a straw and the third thing which I'm using is just a laptop with lots of pictures of riverbeds and that sort of thing on it so you'll see uh, during the video why these come in useful um, obviously the tweezers just for very carefully moving stuff just one stone at a time and that sort of thing and the um, biro is used as a way of blowing uh, scatter sand etc away without disturbing it in other areas so um, I'm actually just going to now do a bit of a fast forward with some music and you'll see all the work I've been doing and then when that's over I will explain a bit more. YouTube, so I'll just give you a quick hint and tip. Um, to use a biro pen or a straw, basically, if you want to remove bits of sand, but you want to be a lot more controlled than just kind of blowing to get rid of stuff and moving everything. Obviously, there's no glue on this yet. Use a straw and you just carefully blow around. You've seen quite a bit of uh, me doing some work on here. I'm kind of at the next stage. I'm going to apply a bit more glue. Um, so just things I just want to, to pick out, I've placed quite a lot of big bowls you can see in a big square um, sort of in the centre of the picture. Well that is the, uh, the footing for the bridge, um, then towards the bottom kind of middle area you see a couple of rocks there, that's the footing of the old bridge, hence why there's only just a couple of big stones there. Um, I've added a few more bits just along this side in particular. Um, some up towards the bank as you can see and just the odd big stone kind of in the in the flow and on this side here there's just one or two kind of hidden um, nothing too big there I think it looks quite good I'm liking how it's looking now um, there's good coloring in there I'm just about to I said apply more glue after which I will be applying um, some greenery around those rocks uh, to try and dull them down a bit color wise uh, I think that'll look really good. So I'm going to do all this off screen as you saw me do it previously. I'm doing the exact same um, using some wet water and then some PVA uh, water mixed 50-50. Okay YouTube, so uh, PVA glue's on, it's drying now. I'm going to leave it alone. I moved over to the window so you can see this in natural light. Um, it's always better to get the colours out a lot better and so on. But you can sort of see what's happening. i just move around. A bit, I'll just give you a couple of shots. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for this video. 
Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing next. I need to uh, sit down and work out what scenery is next. Um, potentially could be some static grass. I haven't really decided yet, or the bridge. Might be a good one to go for. Anyway, that's something to look forward to. So uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope I'll catch you again in the next episode. Bye for now.